just for you and just for you. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV and I am downtown Newmarket, Ontario at Hungry Brew Hops to eat some awesome food, drink some awesome beer with my buddy Paul. How's it going buddy? Good, doing really well. Uh, what are we going to eat today man? We're having the HBH burger, it's been uh, recommended. I, actually I think I've already had it. Yes? But how, it is. How many times have you had it? I just had it the once. I've had a lot of things on the menu and uh, usually I, when I go out I don't have burgers. Yeah, but this and place you've had them and... It just heard from so many people how good it is and then one night uh, we were here and my wife and I decided to split one and I'd already had dinner. And they have a thing called a flight of beers? What is they that all about? A flight of beers and it's, uh, it's a sample. They you have, I believe, 26 taps, and uh, so you get uh, to pick four beers, and it's it's not a full pint, it's a four ounce, so you're getting, you just sample. Right. So we're going to get a bunch of different ones. We're going to try a few beers, too. Awesome. Have a burger. Let's go try this HBH burger. flight with the loggers in the red ale, right? Yes. So here we have Hofbrau, or German lager. It's where we steer our Stella and Heineken drinkers. Okay. Then we have Bose Lugtry right here. It's a lagered ale. Fairly light drinking, but uh, it does have a bit of a sweetness to it. Okay. This is Feinsteffen, our German beer. Oh, I've had beer. that before, actually. Yeah. It has actually, like a banana flavor or something, right? It does, right? Yeah. very subtle, um, but it's the oldest brewery in the world. Established 1040 AD. Nice. Very impressive. And um, Sparkhouse Red Ale by Lake of Bays. Very cool. And what did Paul get? All right, so you have the it. IPAs and the sweet stuff, right? Yes. So this is Muskoka Detour. It's our uh, session IPA. Mm -hmm. So very light drinking. Definitely hop forward, but you have notes of grapefruit in there. Then we have Lake Effect by uh, Great Lakes Brewery. Fantastic brewery number one in Canada to your standing. Then Thornbury Apple Cider and Leafman's Fruit Teas, Cherry Raspberry Lambic Fruit Ale. All nice. right. Very cool. All right. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Awesome. Well, cheers. There you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this one because I know what this one tastes like. So okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the uh, detour. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Here comes the food. Here oh. Our famous HBH burger. Nice. We need a bigger table. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you have the burger patty okay. um, with Philly meat, beer braised onions, um, made in house sweet chili aioli and American white cheese. And then these are our Belgian style fruits. And what makes that Belgian style? Uh, I believe it's just like the cut of the fry okay. and the way we cook them. It smells awesome. Good. Yeah, it smells amazing guys. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right guys, uh, we we're going to take our first bites of this. You've already had a bite of it, I not have. not today, but other times. So I'm, this is going to be my first time ever biting into the the HBH burger, and it sounds amazing. It looks and smells great. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to let you scratch and sniff this one this time. I'd rather just eat it. <laughs> and Paul just rather eat it. What is the the first smell that you get right off the top? It smells. Um, I think I'm catching very barbecue caramelized onion oh. and. Mmm, smells sweet almost. Mmm. That was cooked really well. Not well done, but it was just dripping everywhere. It's all in my hand. It's a good burger when it's a messy burger. I'm definitely getting a lot of caramelized onion taste. Uh, the patty is great. That's good. It looks like it's a hand-made uh, patty, as opposed to a frozen one. Again, the flavors of the meat is awesome. The caramelized onions, I haven't had that in a burger in a long time. Um, <laughs> it's crazy messy. Let's do some of their fries, check them out. I should have done one without ketchup first. Sorry, I can't stop eating. Paul's going through that like a Hoover vacuum cleaner. 
These are well, nice and salty. Looks like the big chunks of sea salt mm -hmm. on there. Gives it a nice flavor. We are gonna finish this off and we'll be right back. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hang I'm on. Ready to do it. All right, guys, we're back. On our rating scale, or on my rating scale for what I ate today, I am gonna give it a total recommend. It was absolutely fantastic. All the different layers, of all the different ingredients made a perfect, perfect burger. But Paul rated it. I would say go out and get it right now. It so, was unbelievable. So what makes it a go out and get it now for you? It was just the flavors, everything. Uh, it was a good hearty burger, lots of flavor. It was, uh, it was probably one of the better burgers I've ever had. There you go, guys. So two different tastes. Again, mine, I total recommend. I really liked it. But if I, had to, if I was to come here again, Paul showed me on the menu, there's a burger called the Sure Fire Burger. And it is, excuse me, that's Ooh. how good it was. Uh, beef patty, uh, pickled jalapenos, spicy uh, beer onions, shredded lettuce, pepper jack cheese, maple sriracha. And then you can add mushrooms and bacon and uh, blended cheese if you wanted to go total crazy on the cheese. But they have other things on the menu that I got to try. Again, the burger I think was was big enough. Probably that a perfect size. I'm I'm full. I almost, barely touched. We should have fries. almost ordered one fry. Yeah, <laughs> shared it between us. <laughs> So there you go. That's our ratings for the for the HBH right yes. uh, burger here at Hungry Brew Hops. And which of the three beers? Paul was explaining why he likes certain beers with certain beers. So explain it to them. Um, I don't know. I, I like I like a, a wide range of beers. I like the IPAs. I find them really uh, really hoppy, strong. Um, but when I usually order a flight, I get I'll get a strong IPA, strong IPA. I like to mix in a cider and then something uh, fruity that's sweet. So I I just I sip it in between drinking the heavier beers. And this one almost, is. it smells like uh, cough syrup. What? That's what it smells <laughs> like. It smells like a cough syrup. No. I don't know. It almost smells like um, like a fruity wine. Oh, okay, maybe. Cough syrup. Okay. Uh, so out of mine, I really like the. I can't remember how to say that. The wine, wine, wine Steffen. Steffen. Wine Steffen. That's really good, but I've, I think I've discovered a new favorite here called Spark. There's just something about that I really like, but I definitely would order this anytime I came to like a, a German establishment or an Austrian establishment. The Wein Steffen is one of my favorites. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic and Paul Merriman food Ooh, review. Nice. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye. Boop.